Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today, I'm going to be talking about these new VP Fashion hair extensions that I just got. About two weeks ago, I got these in the mail. So the very first time I got VP Fashion extensions, they sent me the new VP Fashion Mixed Dyeable hair extensions. The VP Fashion Mixed Dyeable hair extensions are 50% human hair, 50% biological molecule hair, and it can still be dyed just like regular human hair. But this time, I got real full human hair extensions. Um, they came in the hair color um, 613A, which is their lightest shade. The hair texture was silky straight and it's 22 inches long. Now, um, I've done three things to these hair extensions so far and I will go through the whole process of showing you what I've done. So first, I dyed the roots. My roots are about six and a half inches, so I mixed together um, a brown hair dye and I dyed the roots of all of these hair extensions brown. Then I rinsed it all out. I went through with this raspberry-ish kind of magenta color that I don't know what to call right now. But um, in the beginning I was aiming for raspberry, but um, I came up with this color. Mixed it together using um, mainly these three hair dyes. It was Wrath by Arctic Fox, a little tiny drop of Transylvania by Arctic Fox, and then um, I did throw in some Virgin Pink by Arctic Fox, but not much. Um, the majority of this hair dye is actually Fuchsia Shock by Manic Panic, and I rarely use Manic Panic, and the reason I don't like Manic Panic is because how much it stains. There are many other reasons why I do think Arctic Fox is a lot better of a brand, even though they are very similar. I've actually made other videos about that. Maybe I'll leave a link up here for you guys. You can click on that uh, to see any other videos that I have talking about the difference between Manic Panic and Arctic Fox. So I dyed these hair extensions that color, so I made sure I dyed the whole hair extension um, on the front, flipped it over, went through the back, made sure there was no um, missing spots in the hair dye because you don't want patchy hair. I kept the ends blonde. When I washed out all of the hair dye, I left all of the ends blonde, but then I went back through and I turned them this kind of lilac silvery purple color. I used mostly Sterling by Arctic Fox, Violet Dream by Arctic Fox, um, I used a lot of Arctic Mist Diluter to make it really pastel. Mixed it all together in here and then it came up as this color. Uh, that's also what I did to tone um, the hair that I bleached up here in the front. So once I had all of that complete, I had the full hair extensions matching my hair, but um, to make it blend with my actual length. You can see the actual length of my hair if I go like this. I can shake it out and then show you that this right here is my real hair. And I blended them in by cutting a lot of layers into them. So um, I actually had my coworker Taj help me do this. Um, I got face framing, basically cutting them down like this. And then along the back, basically doing the same thing. And then um, we trimmed off just a little bit of the ends, so I don't think this is 22 inches anymore. But I left the raspberry hair dye in overnight, so that was probably about um, eight hours. I, I would say like there's no real way to measure it. I don't really remember, but um, I washed it out the next morning. Um, you don't have to leave the hair dye in for that long, but Arctic Fox and Manic Panic are both really gentle hair dyes that are pretty much like conditioner with pigment in it, so it's not going to really damage the hair if you leave it in too long. Um, also, I had a lot of um, conditioner in there that um, was like a conditioning process as well as dyeing it. I left in the toner, the pastel purple ends, in only for about 10 to 20 minutes, and then I washed it out immediately because the dye took uh, really fast and I wanted it to be super pastel so I didn't want to leave it in for too long. The roots I actually went over twice because the first time um, was just kind of a marker point for where the roots would be in the hair. Um, I actually have some pictures I'll show you right here. Before I did any of the raspberry or the ends in it, it was all just blonde and my roots and um, I wore that in my hair and it actually looked kind of cool um, so I wore it in my hair like twice Oh yeah, and when I got the hair extensions in the mail, it came in this box right here. Very similar to the first box I received. Uh, same size and everything. Um, opening it up, it had the hair extensions in a plastic uh, kind of cover to like protect it. Um, and it came with this 
uh, sheet that was kind of like showing what it was that I got. I'll show you guys up close. And then I also got this little booklet right here. It um, it shows you kind of what you can do about it, about white blonde hair extensions. Um, it's the lightest shade that uh, the factory can offer in um, a large scale. Uh, so if you guys do want a lighter shade, you can request it. But this is the lightest shade that they offer you. This color is um, meant for dyeing hair. It's called the DIY Blonde and it even gives you some suggestions for certain um, hair dyes that you can use. So if you get this, um, it is really helpful reading like um, all kinds of stuff about the um, hair extensions, so this was very helpful. These hair extensions also came with another um, hanger. It's really convenient to have a hanger for your hair extensions because then like when I'm letting them dry, when I'm styling them and stuff like that, I can put them up and um, I don't have to like put them on in order to work with them. It's just like way more convenient with this. Okay, so since these hair extensions usually, um, like if you wear the hair extensions every day, uh, this is just a common thing among hair extensions in general. The uh, hair extension will like, the clip will kind of fall off over time and um, or just loosen up and it's um, better to have really tight clips in your hair extensions. and. Um, not many companies actually like sell, send out their um, hair extensions with extra clips, but this company does and it's really, really great. So um, we have some extra ones here and it's actually my control extension. This is one of the single clip ones. One little hack that I have that I kind of made up is because these hair extensions are blonde, um, the clips are blonde too, they're white. I kind of wish that they were brown because my roots are brown, but since it's facing my head, it's not really a big deal. But what does face outwards is the stitching. So if I can show you up close, the stitching is white right here. And when, you're, when it's underneath of your hair and then it pokes through just a little bit, it can be kind of noticeable. But what I do is I take um, a black or brown Sharpie and I go over the hair extensions. And usually I would like be concerned about putting Sharpie on hair, um, but since it's not actually touching my scalp, like this part of the hair extension is facing outwards and it's kind of going to be covered up by hair anyways, it's just kind of an extra way to make sure that your hair extensions don't really poke out and are really visible. Um, it just makes it look a lot more natural. Um, also something cool about these hair extensions is um, when they dry naturally without like straightening or anything, they kind of dry in this really pretty wavy pattern. Um, now these came as silky straight, uh, but naturally like it, it kind of shows the difference between the, um, the VP Fashion Mixed Dyeable hair extensions and these hair extensions. Um, the, the fact that these are real hair. Um, definitely shows because like real hair would probably do something like this versus my mixed dyeable hair extensions that just fall straight flat um, without really straightening them. Um, <clears throat> they still kind of waved out like this but nowhere near as much as these ones. Um, and the difference that I really notice is how softer these are, um, how kind of wispier they are. They're not as stiff as the other hair in my opinion. I'm gonna bring out the other set of hair extensions for you guys to see comparably uh, the difference. Um, I also made another YouTube video about the other hair extensions that I have, the teal ones. I have a video of me dyeing the hair extensions, but I also have a video of me reviewing the VB Fashion uh, Mixed Dyeable Hair Extensions, so you can go ahead and click this card right here to watch that video of my first set. Right here I have the old hair extensions that I had. Um, Compared to these ones, I had them hanging up on the wall. I meant to take a picture earlier, but um, these ones are actually shorter. I don't remember if they came as 20 inches or 22 inches, but um, these ones were cut as well. As you can see, like there's kind of some layers in there. In general, if you grab onto the whole thing, it's much, it's much thicker. Like these came much thicker. Um, a lot more hair was sent versus this hair. Um, it's a little bit thinner. But my hair naturally is pretty thin, so I feel like it just blends well with my hair better because it fits my hair type better, if that makes any sense. Um, but these hair extensions, while being thinner, they are a lot softer. Maybe it's just because these are older and maybe I fried them from like styling them too much, but these kind of got rough quicker um, over 
the like four times I dyed them and um, they really held up really really well they're also a lot cheaper than the full human hair just because um, these are not full human hair but um, if you want better quality and if you want something that you can dye and use in style multiple multiple times um, I would definitely recommend the human hair extensions if you guys want to know more about the differences between these two comment down questions below questions about uh, the difference between these two or any specific questions in general um, I will be making another video specifically about comparing these two once I wear these a little bit more I'll understand the differences more and I'll make a better video that's more in depth about the differences between VP fashion human hair and VP fashion mixed dyeable hair uh, also, one last thing before I go, I do have a coupon code for you guys to use if you are interested in buying anything from VP Fashion. Um, my coupon code is Jellyfish. Just one word, Jellyfish. The link will be in the description to these hair extensions um, as well as just their website and you can go ahead and click the link and if you buy anything, definitely put in the code Jellyfish to get yourself some $10 off of your order. If anyone's wondering, these little rose things I have on my head are from Forever 21. Also, my makeup is from MotivesCosmetics.com. The link is in the description. This necklace is from ArcticBuffalo.com. Jellyfish is the code for this. And then Lefties29 is the hoodie I'm wearing. Cameron, do you want to say hi? Hi. He's laying in my bed because I'm busy making this video. So he's being very patient and good. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's pretty much all I have to say about these hair extensions. I absolutely love them and I thank VP Fashion so much for sending them to me. Um, I'm definitely going to be making at least like two other um, different hair dye tutorials using these because I want to get as much use out of these as I can. I want to put it to the test and see how many times I can remove color and add new colors to this. So uh, keep in touch and see my channel um, over the next few months and see how I change up these hair extensions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment anything you would like down below, especially questions for my next video about these hair extensions. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Stay epic. Bye. 50% human hair, 50% the VP fashion mixed up. The, v the VP the VP fashion mixed dye.